Hello, this is Lolly with a fairly fast tutorial today. We're going to look at tags. Now you've got your journal made, you want to put tags in the pockets, or maybe you're going to have tags for something else, and you're wondering what to make them more interesting and what to do with the hole on top. So I have created several tags to show you and give you some examples uh, of what we can do with the holes on the top to make them a little more interesting or at least a variety of options in your journal so they don't all look the same. So the first thing is you could just leave the hole alone. Just leave it there. I mean, it's not that it's ugly. It is still a part of the design and you can just leave it as that. You don't have to do anything with it. Second option is you could cover that hole. You could just put a button over it. I have just glued that over. You see the hole is completely covered and it is still adorable. Of course, using a shape button makes it so much more interesting. You could cover it with a brad. And although you are technically using the hole by putting the arms of the brad in there, you're still covering that hole in that we can't see the hole anymore. Another thing you could do is cover it with a bow, such as a fabric or a ribbon bow. I just glued that on there with Fabri-Tac. Or you could glue it on, you could glue a paper bow on it as well. So that also covers the hole, just as adorable as the other. Okay, now we have these here. I want to say there's another thing you can do to cover your hole, and that would be just to use like a cabochon or a, a rhinestone, any kind of flat back pearl flat back flower, or any kind of cabochon, or even including flat back wooden pieces such as that bee. The next option is to reinforce that hole. And you once you do that, you don't have to do anything else with it. The reinforcing helps you to be able to put some kind of ribbon or whatever and apply tension on that hole. So the first way to reinforce that would be to back it up on another piece of cardstock. What if you don't like the back and it's double-sided, but this doesn't really match your theme. You could do two layers of cardstock such as this, glue them together, and now it's definitely stronger, more like a thicker cardstock. Or you can just reinforce only part of it by backing it up with a complementary cardstock such as that you can use a hole reinforcement punch such as this. Glue that on there and your hole is automatically reinforced. Or you can use hole reinforcement dies such as these by Elizabeth Craft Design. So let's pull one out here from my previous use. I have backed these up onto sticker paper basically so that it's an automatic sticker makes it so much easier. There you have it. So now we have the hole is reinforced and it's beautiful. Now, I have noticed that the We Are a Memory Keepers hole reinforcement punch has a slightly bigger hole than I'm used to. So I have found that I can just take another hole punch and cut it right in the center. So two ways of actually putting a hole reinforcement on there. The other way, of course, would be to use an eyelet. And those come in a standard of width and also the wide eyelets, which I still believe I have some of those in my shop. So let's pull, let's say, this one out, maybe. That one versus just a traditional gold here. Okay, so now we have two different styles of eyelets, two different styles of hole reinforcers, and all of them are just as beautiful and just as effective. Okay, now that we have our hole reinforced, let's look at ribbons, different things we can put in the holes, and also different ways of tying them. The most basic and the fastest way I have of putting, I'm going to call them all ribbon. The basic way I have is to fold it in half. I like to put the loop in from the front. Excuse the gluey fingers here. And then all you do is put the two ends through the loop. And that's it. So that's the fastest way I have. And I know this is going to shred. 
So the thing is you can use ribbon, raffia, nylon netting, which is called tulle, organza, yarn, eyelash trim, embroidery floss, jute, which this is, linen cord, or any combination of those. In other words, this and ribbon or eyelash trim and organza. So that makes it even more interesting. So this is the fastest and quickest way that I have of just putting a pull tag on there. Another thing I like to do is just tie a little knot in both ends of these. It makes it so much more cute, but you also need to make sure that you have extra length to be able to accomplish that. It just makes me think of bee antennas, but very cute. I just think it adds an extra bit to that. Okay, another way, and let's use some organza ribbon to show you. But again, this works with anything. I've cut a very large piece here. Obviously, you don't need this much. Is do the same thing, pull it through like that, and then you could tie a knot with the two of them together like that, or skip that. Let's back up. This is why I use this, because I can undo it pretty quickly. Just put one end through instead of both. Pull the two of them through, and then tie the two of them together in a knot. You can do it here at the base, way up here, which would make it very loose. Let's show you what it looks like at the base right there. And again, I have a lot of ribbon cut. You don't need to cut this much. Just like that. Okay, lots of mess here. Okay, another thing is I'm gonna show you with the um, waxed linen because this is, it cooperates so well. I love how it holds its shape. Now, this is what Annette Green uh, showed us in our retreat. Loop it through, put the two ends through the loop, and just tie these in a bow on top. Just like that. Now what I like to do, let me back up here, and that is to pull that down right there over the hole. Instead of putting the bow up here, I've been pulling mine down and doing it here over the hole, and it gives you a different look. See, it brings the bow down. You can adjust this. I love how the wax linen keeps its shape better. It pulls the bow, bow down, and it gives you this double uh, strand right there over the hole, and I like that look as well. Okay, now let's pull another one aside right there, and let's show you a wider ribbon. So we can do this with this piece. I need an angle on here so I can get that through. This works really good for thicker pieces. Pull it through and just do a single knot or a single tie, just like that. And again, it looks so much better with your thicker ribbons. And you know how your ribbons, when you've tied them, they don't want to stay put. So what you can do, and what I like to do, is just put a drop of Fabri-Tac Fabri there and a drop here. And it just secures those in, whether you want the ends go this way or down at an angle. But it keeps them from rolling over. Very cute. So let's do that. I think in this one, I'm going to kind of put them out a little to the side. And then you can trim your ends how you want them. This works really well with thick organza ribbon as well. So let's show you one of those. Now this, I've used a paper hole reinforcer and I have the thicker organza here. Now we did a single knot on this one. This time I'm going to do the double, which means the ribbon ends are going to be in a different direction now. So right over left, left over right. And this makes them go up and down instead of this way. So another thing you can do is fold it up and you can glue them together like that. I've done that or you can just leave it and you can do a short one here and a tall one here. Let's do this. 
fold that in half, do that, and uh, I meant to go fold that in half. I meant to do it this way. So we have a long tail here, short tail there, very cute. I think it just really draws attention to it. Now you can see it better right there. So a single knot, you're going to get the ends of your ribbon going horizontally. A double knot, you're going to get them going vertically. I love that it's translucent. It's just beautiful. Now I want to look at some tags. Uh, these are some um, tags I made for Halloween. And these were done, some of these were done at a class and some I did myself. So here's nylon netting in a single knot. Isn't that beautiful? And then we have gingham, single knot, single knot, but I pushed the ends up, single knot, again, nylon netting, and beautiful polka dot organza. See the difference in those? I did a tag swap with some friends, and so let's look at some of the ties that they did. Single knot, but we've got two kinds of ribbon in here. We have the thin and the thick. No, this is a double knot, but the ends have been pulled down. Beautiful. This one hanging, uh, they just tied it in a knot, leaving a big loop here, and they tied some embellishments on the end. Look at this. Again, we've got more than one type of embellishment hanging there. This is the very first method I showed, but again, using three different materials. Single knot, and this is almost like a burlap bow. A single knot with a gold edged ribbon. Another one, it's, it's single, it's a double knot, but then they did a ribbon around the top to hold the pieces together. Really thick in a single knot. And these ones are not from the swap. Single knot, these are just some other, um, oh, I love this. It's a single knot, but both of them are pulled over to the left. These are ones that we also did in the class at Doodlebug, single knot. And this is wired ribbon, so you, I love that because you can pull it in any direction you want. This is wired, wired. So there's just so many possibilities that you can do with that. Just so many. So these were from the swap and these were from Doodlebug class. Oops, this one didn't, this one got pulled out. Okay, this one is also from the swap and it has gold mesh gold nylon knitting it is so pretty so so many options of what you can do and we haven't even decorated the actual tags we were just putting ties on them isn't that beautiful all these possibilities and more obviously there's so many more this is just to get you started get you inspired get you thinking Hope you enjoy that and that you have fun making your own tags.